Netflix of I Run Far, and we're here in Auburn, California. It's the day after the 2017 Western States 100. We're with the Beast Coasts. Jackie Merritt, who finished seventh <laughs> yesterday. Hey, congratulations, what a breakout run you've had. Yeah, thank you. I never thought I would get an I Run Far interview, so this is really special. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually uh, felt pretty certain you were going to finish in the top 10 yesterday. Your performances mm -hmm. on the East Coast over the years, and especially your performances in the last half a year or so, have just been at the top of the bar over there on the East Coast. Did you have confidence coming coming over here? Um, I Well, I mean, you guys saw the field. It was, it was totally stacked. I mean, there were probably a list of 20 women that had a real shot at getting in top 10. So I knew that I had to, um, I had to run a really careful uh, race and really smart race if I wanted a chance to, to get okay. in there. But I knew there was going to be mistakes. Um, I knew with the temperatures and the snow up in high country and everything, there, there was going to be um, some carnage out there. So <laughs> I just tried to be really patient. <laughs> Is it, so. I mean, in, in most of the races you run, you are at the front, sometimes, I mean, of the women and sometimes of the men too. Yeah. Was it difficult being patient and letting like a lot of women go in the early miles? Yeah, so I, um, I haven't run a race a, a, this competitive before um, out west, you know, it's, you know, western states. So <laughs> I knew from looking at like um, Maggie Guterall and Bethany Patterson's um, like standings last year at the at you know Robinson Flat, like they were like in twenty some mod place, and so I knew I was like this this is going to be totally fine if I'm back here and it, the race hasn't started yet. Um, so I was I was actually totally fine with it. I but I think it was because I kind of told myself like this is where I'm going to be coming in, um, and I, I made some major. Um, adjustments to my my time goals okay. at, with like all the elements out there today sure. um, so yeah yeah I mean we have 40 some odd years of, of timing history of the of, of this race but times were just off from like yeah. mile three <laughs> yesterday was it hard to actually sort of put away the numbers on your watch and just start racing by feel um, well when I got to mile 16 <laughs> up at high yeah, country I, I was and I felt like I was running I you know I, I wasn't running super super easy but I you know I felt like I was running with a, a right at the effort I wanted to be and I was half an hour off my time goal at, at a conservative time goal just because you know all the flats up on um, in the high country in the first section were just either totally covered in like this icy slushy snow that was out of camber so you're just sliding and you couldn't really run um, or run very well at all and then you'd be falling through the sections that were like you know punched out underneath and um, there was just like ankle sucking like grimy <laughs> muck that like I had to stop in like creeks and like dump that like do a complete wow. shoe rinse and wow. so, so I was just there's two minutes I knew, there and <laughs> yeah exactly so I knew I was like yeah I, I'm just throwing away this this pacing chart all together <laughs> I, I just need to like go with it today but yeah it was kind of hard um in the middle for me because there was a good like 10 hours, nine to 10 hours that I didn't see another woman. Mm. I was just running in like, wow. I think 16th place for forever. <laughs> and, and my crew kept telling me, oh, there's carnage up there. Everyone's dying. And I was like, well, I feel pretty good. Um, and I was taking the extra time at all the aid stations, which I normally don't do to like, just load my pack with ice and my mm. bandana with ice and just doing everything I could to keep my core temperature low. Um, and I, I really think that paid off for me um, because I never really felt like it was unbearably hot because I was doing all those things. Okay. But it was really tough not seeing another woman for that long. And <laughs> until I got to Forest Hill and took off down the hill, I, I started picking people off like Yeah, I was going to say, when the women started coming back to you, they were coming back to you in droves. Like, yeah, yeah. you, <laughs> yeah, you picked off. Yeah, they were all kind of bunched together um, going between the fo Forest Hill and the river. Um, yeah, they were all kind of bunched together in between the cow streets. When, when did you become aware that you were for certain in the top 10? Yeah, so I've been getting mixed reports all day. <laughs> okay, like, okay. I think one point in the middle, someone told me I was in, I was told I was in 16th and I was told I was in 11th after I didn't pass anyone. And then I was told I was in 13th and I had no idea. Um, <laughs> okay. but 
one of the aid stations told me I was in 13th, and then I passed, um, I passed uh, Yo Wang, then I passed Megan Arbogast, then I passed Stephanie, then I passed Casey, and I was like, all right, I am definitely in top, I 10. To in top 10. I now. am at least 10th place right now. So um, then I knew I was in top 10, and then I got down to the river, and I passed, like, I think three more, three or four more women, and AJW told me I was in, in eighth. He was down there, so um, I was pretty fairly certain he had it right yeah. at the river. <laughs> as close as AJW gets with details, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's more of a big picture kind of guy, right? <laughs> um, so at that point, did this, did it turn into a race of, I'm still chasing women in front of me, or were you looking, thinking about the women behind you trying to maintain a position in the top 10? Um, I mean, I was flying down to the river and I was grinding up that climb up to Green Gate and then every downhill I was I mean I was moving okay and I knew in my heart any women that passed me weren't catching me and um, I had a feeling like no one that was gonna be running no women running faster than me were behind me at, at that okay. point um, but I was definitely trying to catch the woman in front of me like I was chasing down Kaylin um, Gerber for like an hour and a half and I could see her I could see her and then I finally passed her down this hill and she just sprinted off um, into the night and I just I couldn't catch her again but then I caught mm. Claire Gallagher and, and after that I was kind of reeling um, other women in like Nicole um, and, the, and the fifth place woman but I just couldn't quite close the gap I think Nicole had me by like six and a half minutes or something in, in the track so um, we had people at three places on the course between nine, mile 94 and the finish, and it was actually incredible and incredibly excruciating because the dynamic of, of, the, of the women in your part of the race was just so back and forth. Was it excruciating to be a part of, too? It was exciting for me because okay. I was, like, picking people off, and uh, with the exception of, of Caitlin, um, you know, I was I was passing people with with confidence. Um, so it was definitely fun for me because I knew I had saved a few more gears till the end, mm -hmm. and um, and they just didn't have it. So um, yeah, it was exciting, and and every you know it, it just gives you kind of a lift when you're when you were, feel like you're doing that well at that point in the race, and you feel like you know you're you know usually by mile like. 80 to 90 <laughs> you can tell if the wheels are going to come off and i knew that i i could sustain um the wheels were but, staying on today yeah they were staying on i was i was getting this thing out and no one was passing me um passing me back so it was exciting it was a good race i liked it so the awards ceremony is about to start you're about to collect your uh, <laughs> beloved silver yeah. buckle but you are also about to collect your beloved f7 official position um <laughs> so my last question for you earning earning f7 does this mean that this is the beginning of a relationship with a race like this <laughs> Uh, I haven't gotten to think yeah. about it. Don't ask um, me today. Um, just for the viewers at home, I just want you to know that AJW is leaping around in the background right now. <laughs> yeah, let's not ask AJW. AJW wants Jackie this. to race Western States again. <laughs> yeah, but no, I would, I would really love to come back here because I think with a little more knowledge of the course and, um, and, and of course seeing the course in different conditions would sure. be a totally different experience. Um, so yeah, I would, I would like to come back someday. Not sure about next year or not. We'll see. <laughs> not sure about next year or not. It is the day after states. We got to give the woman a, a little bit of time to think. Well, congratulations to you yeah, on thank your you. F7 performance at the 2017 Western States thank 100. Thank you so much. Yeah, Beast Coast. <laughs>